the thread I'm going to be using is the black thread uh, uni. I've waxed the thread, so I'm going to start about maybe four, three, four mil from the eye. Trim away the waist, and then I'm going to use a small oval gold tinsel. I'm going to use this for the tag and the rib. So it's going to work my way down. Uh, just come slightly by the points, basically. Threads about maybe a mil or two, just by the points of the hook and align with it. And then I'm going to form the tag by winding down four turns, then bringing it into the fifth turn and bring the oval tin tinsel between the hooks, tighten up underneath. You want a good three or four turns. And then what I like to do is trim it the length of the body. Keep that as a guide. And I keep that from my rib. Now this is where I can change a wee bit. I'm using a dark brown bucktail. Uh, you could use claret, you could use a fiery brown, you could use basically what you have. But I normally use a dark brown. I'm going to actually stack it, it's a wee bit thin in the tips this, but it's a good, I mean it's a good fibre like. But because of the style of it, I like to stack it. So tips first into a stacker. Up on your desk. Should be lined up, that's fine. Just checking, there's a broken end there. And then, I mean the amount you put on is up to yourself. This is a size 8, so it's reasonable size fly. So you're looking for like anything between a one and a half, twice the length of the hook, or the shank, you tie it to suit yourself. Again, we trim this the length of the body. Now for a bit of flash, you can use too, quite a few flashes, but normally it's gold. I use gold, this is a crinkle flash. Just a single strand, all I'm going to do is double it. You could three or four strands on it. I'm just going to work with the, the two. So plenty of the bucktail, just tie that on the top. So three turns. Trim again. Now what I'm going to do here is wind, this is a golden pheasant, this is breast and rump, either the two work uh, dyed claret, you can see it's a lovely, lovely colour, take away the fluff, tie it in by the tip, now you could leave out the, the bucktail if you wish, but it's a, it's a very good pattern this. Tied like this. So I'm tying it in. Oh, I'm just going to use up the whole hackle. Just stop. Just wrap it. Come up by a 90 degree bend into the stem. Now the reason I'm not tidying up is it's just I'm going to try and save a wee bit of bulk. Not too, I don't want the body too heavy. I get up and down the, with the thread, but I'm going to go. Up, I'm going to go all the way up now. Securing in the bucktail, the flash, and the golden pheasant rump. And I come back down all the way. Got the gold oval tinsel. I'm going to rub the fly. Uh, sorry, tie it in for the rib, and then for the, the body I'm using, this is a unifloss in wine. So you're looking for a claret wine, something like that. Now that's halfway up, so you catch the floss in, keep it the same length. Touch your wax, just for that wee bit extra grip. And then we're going to wind up. You see where we are, making sure we're right beside the, the hackle. Nice and tight. Two three turns to secure it in. And 
about three turns of the rib. See what it's like. That's fine. Show me the excess. Just tidy this area up. Nice and tight. It's important to get that nice and tight. Now I've got a claret hackle. This is just a I'll show you. It's a claret uh, cock neck I've got. It's just coming to the end of its life really. I've not got many feathers left. One here, so I'm tight in at the base. I'm gonna mix as the soft fiber as well as which is soft is down the bottom and the, the stiffer fiber at the top for colour. Catch this on, and then fold it. With nice, tight, straight turns, drawing back the fiber. Now this can be as heavy or as light as you like. It can be it just again depends on the the hackle you have. And I'm happy with that, so bring a. You thread up beside the hackle and put a 90 degree bend into it. Make sure it's secure. Turn away. I'm the fibres here, so I'm taking, tidying up. Let me tie in my rib. Spread it. Now, back to our oval gold tinsel. Again, I'm going to catch it on my side and near the top so that I'm sort of copying exactly what I did at the first part. I'm going to start it where I like and tie it the way down. All the way down to the hackle. Get back to our floss, same floss, the wine coloured uni floss. And we've got wax. Just gives you that extra grip. Again, a wee bit more. Some thread down, making sure it's gonna go to turn that uh, tie off. It's got thread to tie on. Happy with that. Three or four turns to hold. Trim away. Bring your rib up. You're looking for the same number of turns. One. Two, three, and catch it in. Turn away. Just flattening the end of the oval tinsel here with my nail, just pushing my nail onto it so you don't have any lumps or bumps. Now, jungle cock, get two jungle cock eyes, to set a medium to large size in this hook. So, set it on the top, we're going to basically tie these a little, around about the length of the body. Two or three turns, just to lightly hold it. Just checking my length. Uh, making sure they're both the same length because you know, when you tie these in, it's a guarantee half the time you have one shorter than the other. Looking at that, that's fine. Then I'm going to fold this, fold them back to make sure they're secure. Then I'm going to break away, keeping the thread tight, the, the stems of the waist tight though, the waist part of the jungle cock. Now, what I've got here is two hackles. You've got a hot orange and a very hot orange. Now, I'm going to mix, I'm going to double it up. Hackles I've got are a wee bit thin. I want to warm up a wee bit and this is a really good warm. I'll show you the two capes. Uh, there's the other one. So basically I've got... Oh, it's quite hard to see the difference really. But one's a hot orange, one's a hotter orange. As you can see, 
So I've actually got two, two, I've got a feather from each, but the same size. Tie them in at the base this time, down here, because they're really, they're quite thin. Uh, the reason I'm doubling up is I want the nice colour, but at the same time, uh, I want this soft, but slightly heavier. Fibre, or thicker on fibre. Yeah, maybe it just thickens it a bit better. It's just it's far, far nicer. Uh, it's with less turns really, so because you're doubling up. So what I'm doing here is I'm folding the hackle, and then one into the second turn, which is fine. Just bend the hackle like a 90 degrees, I'll show you what it's like. And that basically allows me to get the thread right onto it. Now these are quite thin stems so I'm going to fold it back and then basically tie over the top, tucking back these hackles. You don't have to do this but I like to if I can. If the, if the feathers allow me to do that I will do it and then break them off. Quick finish. Remove the thread. And there we are. Uh, looks okay. Um, it's a nice, I mean, it's a nice fly. So it's, it's a really nice pattern. And then you're looking. I would probably varnish the head about three times. So I'm using a clear varnish. It's a Venier clear varnish. All the way around. Uh, just allow it. Well, in warm weather, it'll dry quicker, obviously. But it dries quite quick, this varnish. By the end of the day, I would have the three coats on the, the fly. And there we go. So I thought, well, I'll give this one a go. And it's a nice style. And you can change this. You can tie your favourite shrimp fly in this kind of style. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and again, thanks for watching.